Hi everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to make this amazing wave effects in Adobe Illustrator. First, create a new document of these dimensions. Go to the rectangle tool and click on the artboard. Add width and height and hit OK to create a rectangle. Then I have this 5. Change the rectangle fill to outline. Round its corners. Set the outline to inside. Then open the appearance panel. Set the stroke to 30. Drag this to the plus button for a copy of it. Change its color to a different one. And stoke weight to 60. Now select both and click on the plus button. And follow me. Set the third outline to 90. Next 120. And keep adding 30 to each. and delete the last green one. Now hold the Alt button to make a copy and place it beside the artboard. Select the first one, go to the object menu, and click on Expand Appearance. Open the Pathfinder panel, if it's not there bring it from the window menu. And click on the Divide button. Double click on it. Go to the magic wand tool and click on the black part to select all the black lines. Go to the edit menu and cut. Select the remaining all and hit delete. Then paste it in front. And click on unite button to unite them. Now go to the effect menu, 3D and material, 3D classic and rotate. Follow my rotate settings. Expand it appearance. Go to the direct selection tool and delete the extra rectangle. Select and go to the object menu, envelope distort and make with mesh. Set rows to 3 and columns to 12. Go to the direct selection tool. And follow me here. Expand it. And that's it. Let's move to the second example. Create a straight line using the line segment tool. Hold the Alt button to make a copy of it. Select both, go to the object menu, blend, and make. Go to the object menu again, 
blend and blending options. Set specified steps to 20. And expand it. Select and go to the object menu, envelope distort and make with mesh. And follow me here. Hold the shift button to select these points. And drag it up. Expand it. Place it here and rotate it a bit. And send it to backward. Select both and go to the object menu, clipping mask, and make. Double click on it to go inside and change the width profile to 5. Adjust its position and stroke weight. Make a copy of it. And paste it in front. Expand it. Change its color to a different one. And send it back. Select the lines using the direct selection tool that you want to keep. Edit and cut. And delete the remaining. Then paste it in front. Change its color to black. Go to the Eraser tool, hold the Alt button, and erase the extra parts. Expand it. Then open the Pathfinder and click on Divide button. Go to the Magic Wand tool, select the black parts and hit Delete. Select the remaining all and apply the black color to them. And that's it. Share your thoughts on this. If there is any question, you can ask in the comment section. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel, where I upload graphic-related tutorials. Thank you for watching.